Hello, my dear students. <coughs> Welcome to this live video presentation on preparation strategy and important concepts in electrical circuit analysis or network theory. It's an effort from ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online to approach to students and guide them properly to such quality competitive exams like GATE, ESC, and state PSC exams. Yes, this live session approximately around one hour, okay? And it will be divided into two parts. Today, Saturday, we will be talking more about preparation strategy, gate pattern, the type of questions, and how to crack in first attempt. And on Monday, we will be exclusively topic is about solving important questions and what all the detailed analysis about electrical circuits or network theory. Yes, so this is gate. It is focused mainly on gate, but all competitive exams I will cover. And what are the extra changes that you should made in the strategy? We will discuss on that. Though it is gate in general, but we will talk about ESC, Genco, other exams also. Because my subject is common there. Yes, it is gate for triple E, ECE and instrumentation, PYQs, that is previous year questions. But the main focus will be today on preparation strategy and important question analysis. Now I call these two names. Now I will talk some difference when I come to my subject. It is called electric circuits for triple E and instrumentation. It is called networks or network analysis for ECE communication people. There is a difference in that. Application difference that we will talk. But 95% of the syllabus is same for both triple E and ECE. Only 5% I would say that is three phase is extra for triple E students. Three phase circuit analysis. Okay, power level analysis is more for triple E. Otherwise, 95% is same. We will talk. And now, yes, <coughs> myself, B.S. Krishna Varma, one of the senior faculty in Ace Engineering Academy since 2009. I joined here in November 2009. So almost, uh, it's like 14 years I'm carrying on. And here, as a faculty, we are so experienced because we count as number of batches. Now, in normal colleges, yes, in normal colleges, a subject can be taught once per semester or maximum yeah, two times in a semester if two sections are there. That is in normal engineering colleges. Here in ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online, together approximately 20-25 times per year we teach a subject. So teaching 25 times minimum per year and since 2009, I count my experience as something like 250-300 batches. My experience is like number of batches. Like that there are so many great faculty, my gurus are there here. The CMD of ACE Engineering Academy, the Chief Managing Director himself is a great teacher since 1995. So we call ourselves as specialist in these subjects. Okay? The reason is simple, experience. We keep on digging deep, deep, deep in one subject and I count myself and my colleagues as the experience as number of batches. Okay? So we have tremendous experience exclusively focusing on competitive exams like GATE and IES. Every teacher, yes, has their own way and own style and own strategy. I will discuss my style, but with the great feedback coming from all the students who cracked this exam. Now, these slides are prepared with the intention and accuracy that I got the feedback from achievers. That is what I would be focusing on, okay? We will be talking something, how to achieve success in such great exams in first attempt, okay? Chalo, myself, B.S. Krishnarma, faculty in electrical circuits or network theory. Yes, both EC, Triple E, I teach in Hyderabad and all around India and now online. Now, the agenda of these slides. Yes, today we will be focusing more on preparation strategy, but the main agenda will be focusing on, yes, <coughs> introduction to GATE and ESC and state PSU. Brief introduction, sir. Let us not go deep because separate PPTs and video sessions are available in our ACE website, aceengineeringacademy.com, aceengacademy.com. There are original videos of our CMD, okay, Gopalakrishna Murthigaru and Ayub Khan sir. Every video is available. Please go through them. But I will be just touching some points about the latest pattern and syllabus. So this is a brief introduction about all these exams. What is the level of preparation required? But please go through the original videos which are there in our website permanently. Then my subject, yes, electric circuits or networks, my subject syllabus and chapter division. Results and mark analysis, recommended books and material, 
then comes the main focus today the focus today will be on preparation strategy yes the focus will be on main preparation strategy then about my subject and model questions and then we will conclude with what is our institution and what we are offering to you okay what we are basically offering today online offline it's an hybrid model going on we will be talking so these are the seven steps we'll be discussing now now i want to start with this definition quality quality is never an accident it is always the result of high intention yes quality is never an accident it is a result of high intention sincere effort intelligent direction and skillful execution it represents the wise choice of many alternatives and perfection is the action or process of improving something until it is faultless please understand now gate is a quality exam why i talk more about gate if you prepare gate that standard that deep mathematical analysis preparing esc genco other things also become easy of course there is a strategical difference and the pattern and the way you attempt the exam but knowledge wise subject wise preparation of gate is considered as number 1 because gate is the highest quality exam because it is deep mathematical analysis yes that is why gate is a quality exam and to achieve it you have to be perfect okay you have to be fundamentally perfect not at core design level we are not talking design in btech nasa these days design has become prototype in industries we are talking fundamentals but you have to be perfect so these are the things to start our discussion with then as a teacher yes this is one of the best slides i find these days what a teacher can do what is what i can do to you i can only impart knowledge to you i can share my experience i did not write any book i don't have anything great i read lot of books i simplify them and teach exactly what is required for our exam relevancy the teachers in our institution as engineering academy as well as as online we do relevant things there is a difference when we teach in normal engineering college and as academy and as online please understand that yes we are only transferring knowledge okay but there are my gurus and great teachers you know they are the originators but myself just experience by reading lot of content and how strategically we can prepare and make you achieve this exam a simple way is the main focus going on so as a teacher i can only impart and share my experience and knowledge then <clears throat> yes even i thank my teachers my gurus are there now today the definition of learning has changed that is what i want to focus again starting with yes this is given by eliot massey this author told a great proverb today learning has le it has become different it is not just offline e learning we call yes e learning is changing and we will see a new models new technologies and designs emerge so let us drop the e and make it just learning so today learning is e learning that is why we have launched as online app lot of lot of students are joining convenient at their own place no need to come to hyderabad always but offline also we are very very strong no doubt but offline requires more effort from teachers as well as students you know that but online also today learning has become e learning let us remove the e and make it normal learning so today please understand that then yes let us briefly talk about gate exam few minutes okay yes now sir this time yes gate 2024 i am talking already notification came please everyone should go to the website note down the dates okay yes this time iic bangalore the number one the number one science and technological institute in india iic bangalore is conducting so expect goosebumps expect goosebumps it will be a quality paper that is what i am expecting iic bangalore is conducting and total 30 papers in that electrical engineering ece communication and instrumentation is what i am focusing on then get notification released on 24th august just one week back please not even one week a few days then uh, last date for application 29th september remember okay then uh, mode of exam cbt 25 65 questions in that 15 general aptitude uh, 85 marks subject questions total 100 marks and uh, gate exam language is english and this is a website so please understand yes now <clears throat> it is a cbt 3 hours exam okay and 100 marks in that 100 marks in that 10 general aptitude and 55 subject core subject total 65 questions 3 hours 100 marks please understand okay so total 65 questions 3 hours 100 marks okay so those who are already having knowledge about gate exam and its experience maybe one attempt two attempt they know it but others who are the newcomers who are in third year and final year of btech who are attempting first this is a very important slide then you have three types of question now today we will discuss them multiple choice questions multiple select questions and numerical analysis numerical answer type very accurate we should and virtual calculator is involved okay so we will discuss these three models very interesting recently few years back even multiple select questions are 
injected into gate to make it more competitive and challenging because 65 questions how to make students more competitive and divide them based on their performance is a challenge for them right so they make it more complex by adding that msq which we will discuss then quick so what all theory i wrote i want to put it as a table this is the table you should remember <clears throat> general aptitude in english one mark questions five two marks question five yes 10 question 15 marks electrical engineering and max yes <clears throat> 25 marks uh, one mark questions 25 two marks question 30 total 55 85 total 100 marks and 65 questions native marking yes <clears throat> one by third for one mark and two by third for two marks overall it is like yes 33 percent then total questions yes total questions 30 one mark and total questions uh, two marks is 35 total 65 only. and it is three hours 180 so understand the definition competitive exam is not like your btech general exam like in btech general exam three hours out of eight questions write five that is not the style here maximum you have to attempt full paper you have to attempt you should have the ability to attempt complete paper then only there is a probability of getting top uh, 400 rank top 300 or top 100 and top 10 rank where you get admission into IASC, IIT. So competitive exam definition is different, which we will discuss in the strategy. And of course, there is no native marking for numerical type and also MSQ. Okay, MSQ also and numerical, there is no native marking. But for MCQ, native marking is there that you remember. Okay, then about ESC, brief, one minute brief about ESC. This is conducted by UPSC. So name of the exam, ESC. Now remember, in South India, we talk IES, IES. Please, in UPSC, don't type IES. If you type IES, it is called Indian Economy Services. We talk IES exam, but actually in UPSC website, it is called ESC. Don't confuse. It is called Engineering Service Exam. Yes. And uh, considered as number one exam for engineering students for specific branch in India. And it's core technical job. Now, it is more powerful in terms of the authority you get. Now, gate you write, you know, MTech Research and some PSU recruit. But IES is directly managerial post. That is why IES today or engineering service exam today has got tremendous demand overall, sir. And it is the best technical job you can expect in India. Okay. Yes, it is a core technical job with power to take decisions. So I write this term, power. What is the difference? You write gate and join BHL, RC, BHL for example. BHL, Bharat Heavy Electrical Stream Tech. And you write uh, same IES and you become, uh, you know, in telecom industry or you join as a, you know, chief manager in defense related or ordinance factory. What is the difference? Salaries may not be so different, but the thing is, normally PSUs like BHL you join, you don't have the power to take uh, decisions. You are not administrator from day one. After five years experience, 10 years experience, you become manager, senior manager, then you have the power to take decisions. But in IES, let me tell you, from day one, you will become the boss. You have the power to take the decision. So that is why IES is something different, sir. It is the number one technical job that you can expect in India. But if you want to go to research and MTech, it is gate. But if you want such number one job, government job with power and a lot of comfort, money, security, that is the best thing. Then, yes, conducted by Union Public Service Commission in three stages, of course. Exam pattern, two stages written test and third stage is <coughs> personal interview. That is why it is different to gate. Gate is what? It is an <coughs> online exam. And after getting, you can apply into IITs. That's over, one shot. Okay. Maybe in some PSUs interview will be there. But IES is a stages. First stage prelims, second stage mains, and then interview. And after interview also training is there, sir. One and a half, two years training is there. All this together, it is an investment of two and a half, three years. IES is an investment of time, money, and energy. So, yes, it is a classic answer. sir. Okay. So, we have to be very serious with this exam. Lot of patience. Yes, exam pattern, as I told, two stages of written test followed by... <coughs> Third stage is personal interview. And mode of applying this exam online. So GATE and IES, there is a difference or ESC. Now Genco Transco these days is much simple. State PSUC is much simple. There is only written test. Written test and directly verification of certificate and job. So in most of the states to remove the corruption and everything, uh, the education department or the, you know, uh, the managerial department in Genco exam, for example, in Telangana where I stay, written test is everything. You get the top rank in written test, you are called first verification of certificate and job is offered. So that is how each exam has its own importance, okay? Then when it comes to engineering services prelims exam, this notification I am talking regarding last year, this notification for 2024 yet to come, but based on the 2023, yes, exam, yes, date of notification somewhere around September. So it is about to come now. So there is a reason in few days, few weeks, you will get even ESC notification, be ready. 
This is for last year, tentative dates. Then date of commencement, yes, it is in February. Okay, last time it is February, but generally January first week, February, around January, February, generally January first week, second week, Sunday. Then date of examination, it is one day, prelims, last date for application approximately last time October. So this time also, you remember October, it will be closing. And uh, date of upload and notice, notice also you can go. Then <clears throat> these are the tentative dates. So why I'm talking about this, that means gate notification comes in August ending September and by September ending it is closing and ESC also you should know September second week it generally comes and closes by October first week. And what are the general tentative dates that you should know as a student when it can come, when you should apply, you have to be ready for it because yearly once only they come sir. So you cannot delay and waste time. Then yes, notification, last week of September, last date of submission, okay, three weeks from the date of notification, stage one, first week of January every year, tentatively first Sunday, but last time it went to February and stage two June last week or July first week, that is conventional we talk. Then this is the old data, but I want to give accurate data. See the old data, like ESC 2017, 18, 19, Total post are 440, 588, 581. In what, for example, sample data of Tribuli I am giving. Out of 440, Tribuli 70. In uh, 2018, Tribuli 157. 2019, 95. So this is difference. Not like uh, you write gate and go for IIT admission for MTech. There are thousands of seats are there. So many branches are there. But uh, UPSC is not like that. See, for example, Tribuli only 70. In that, again, reservation will come. Open category, OBC, SCST, etc., etc. This depends upon the number of vacancies available, number of people who retire uh, and government expanding in some areas. So it is a very, very honorable job, sir. So you have to understand that. It is a great classical job and uh, the competition exists like anything. Then factors affecting, okay, this slide I don't want to read much. You pause it and study. There are so many factors in selecting student from stage one to stage two and to interview. Okay, these are some factors. Okay, let us not go in detail, but you can read it, uh, you know, by pausing the video. Then this is what I want to talk. Like gate, I told about how many questions, how many marks, etc. Like ESC, this is the most important slide. This slide also, yes, you can pause it and go through. Stage one prelims, paper one general studies, paper two electrical engineering. And this is where we are talking, three hours, 300 marks. Okay, here two hours, 200 marks. Okay, and here 100 objective in that, approximately 90 MCQ, 10 assertion and reasoning. Approximately, sir, not accurate, but this is how we can estimate at least. The intention of this preparation strategy is this only, sir. We want to give the importance of the exam, what style we should prepare, what sort of questions can come. That is the main focus today. So that is why this is an important slide that in uh, <coughs> technical electrical engineering, for example, or EC, you talk, yes, EC, electronics and telecommunication, they talk. Electrical engineering, electronics and telecommunication here. That, yes, similar, it will be 150 questions in that 135 approximately MCQs and uh, 15 will be assertion reasoning approximately. Sometimes 11, sometimes 10, we cannot say, but approximately. Of course, native marking exists for both, okay? Then after cle clearing this prelims, after clearing this prelims, they will uh, give the result by March ending, March second week, third week. Then you should prepare for mains and mains will be in last week of June or first week of July. Mains, that is stage two. Paper one, paper two, again, complete electrical or if it is easy, electronics and telecommunication paper will come. In first paper, some subjects are there. Second paper, some subjects, which I will discuss. And again, three hours, 300, conventional type, three hours, 300, conventional type. So conventional is a different style, sir, like your BTEC style, derivations, lot of detailed problems, using calculators, that all you should do, okay? And of course, their native marking is not there. And then personal interview test or personal interview, personality test with your interview. Total, you see now, it is stage one, stage two, stage three. So IES is three stage, but gate is like one step. Of course, some IITs conduct interview also if you opt for specialized MTech branches, but generally gate is like one step, but still some IITs take interview, but otherwise IES is three steps. Stage one, stage two conventional, stage three is interview. And after that, Yes, oh, total 1300 uh, marks. And after that, there will be training also. In training also, you have to be very disciplined, very, very, uh, you know, uh, obedient, sincere student. Otherwise, posting will not be given. So all this is different. Then let us talk. Chalo, we discuss what is gate exam, what is its pattern, marks, and questions. IES also, pattern, question marks. Now let us talk briefly about the syllabus. Now gate syllabus. Yes, I want to 
cut and paste. The reason I don't want to try because this is what the IAC Bangalore has already released. So I want to show the same thing. Now when it comes to my subject, which is electric circuits for Triboli, network or networks or network analysis we say for ECE. And for instrumentation it's called electrical circuits. It's one and the same. Now this, yes, it is a technical part. Okay, section two. Section one comes max, aptitude, etc. But section two in that electric circuits. Network elements, ideal current sources, okay, these things you should just, you know, uh, pause it and see after my class is over, you can pause it. We will put this video live now, but continuously you can watch later, but go through this. So this is all the detailed syllabus that you should know for electric circuits for Tripoli, okay, which, we, which I will talk, how to modify, how to know, how to categorize based on the application, based on marks, based on weightage that I will talk. So this is the complete syllabus, okay. Then... For ECE people, in gate it is called ECE. Networks, signals and system is combined in section 2. But in that, I will be talking about networks part. Please understand. I will be talking morely about networks part. Signals and system is a separate subject uh, my colleague will be teaching. Or there are lot of data you can get. But I will be talking about networks part. Okay. Yes. Uh, in that circuits, yes, nodal mesh, superposition, similar sir, almost similar. But this frequency domain analysis is more. Then signal part, but I want to highlight that it is given as section two networks and signals and system. I will be focusing on the network part. Okay, frequency domain analysis is more for ECE students. Okay, lumped parameters, power level analysis is more for Tripoli students. That you should understand the difference, application difference, power level analysis, power factor, AC steady state, theorems, network reduction is more for Tripoli. But when it comes to EC, frequency domain analysis, Laplace, okay, network parameters, that is more for EC, application difference, okay. Then when it comes to instrumentation, my subject will be, is divided into two sections. Now see, instrumentation, it is coming apart in section two, electricity and magnetism. It is written as electricity and magnetism, but some part I cover, like talking about the lumped parameters, like capacitor, inductor, magnetomotive force, reluctance, this comes into magnetic circuit chapter. So some part of this syllabus which I will discuss later will be teaching by a network theory teacher and remaining part will be other teacher. Then the same subject is also coming as electrical circuits and machines. Again in that electrical circuit part I teach. So that is what sir here in ACE Academy what, what is that we do? We divide the syllabus accurately and every teacher is specialist in this area. That is why I am talking mostly about my electrical circuits or network analysis. I don't want to touch machines. We know basics of machines as a teacher, but I am good in this. Machines teacher is expert in this. Expertization is only because of practice, sir. Otherwise, you know in your college there are great teachers, we should respect them. But here after teaching so many times, we become so specialist in this. That is the only difference. In normal college, I teach engineering college, there is a different style. In ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Law Online, it is a different strategy, different style altogether. Aptitude bits, accurate, minimal calculations, direct steps. That is all the different level we do. That is the difference. So here, so in instrumentation, it is coming in two parts. In section two, some part lumped parameters I teach. In section three, electrical circuit part I teach. Machines part, some other teacher teach. But this is all coming into this instrumentation. So overall, if you see, whether it is Triboli or ECE or instrumentation, 95% of the syllabus is same. Except for Triboli, I want to highlight, except for Triboli, this uh, three-phase circuit, balanced, see, balanced three-phase circuits is extra. That is the only extra. Otherwise, everything is similar. Though he expanded so many terms like this, but everything is similar, okay? Then, I want to highlight that, yes, I want to highlight, uh, he was talking M element. One student asked me last time, sir, what is M? RLC, we know, resistance, inductance, capacitance. Resistance represents linear time invariant property, inductance represents electromagnetic property, and capacitance represents electrostatic property. But what is this M? M is mutual inductance. Okay, M is mutual inductance. In magnetic circuit chapter with dot convention, it will come. Okay, otherwise everything is similar. Okay, chalo. So we got complete <coughs> note of gate syllabus for all these three branches where my subject is common. Then ESC syllabus. Okay, this slide I want to <coughs> just you know the same thing what. It came last year, that is the same thing. Now this is the, uh, in ESC again, that is engineering services, preliminary stage one as well as conventional, this is the common syllabus. Again it is mixed with electric circuits and fields. But I will be teaching with part, electric circuit part. Fields part, other teacher. 
because I am expert in circuit part. Then yes, all this part like uh, graphs, uh, KCL, KVL, mesh, nodal, ideal, all this sir you can go through. Let us not go detail. However, my classification I will talk. This is for triple E students. And electronics and telecommunication, this is the syllabus. Again, that is coming in two parts. Basic electrical engineering in that some part will come. Network theory, some part will come. In basic electrical engineering, you see DC circuits, Ohm's law, Kirchhoff law, mesh and nodal, circuit theorems, electromagnetism, Faraday's law, until, okay, until part of electromagnetism, I will teach. Actually, even electromagnetism, EMFs are will go. So, this first line until here, I will teach. And the second part, network theory part, completely I will teach. But remaining part like machines, power systems, that all other teacher will teach. So, circuit and network part, I will be concentrated. So, in ESC, for EC students or electronics and telecommunication, we call it electronics and telecommunication. Remember, it is not called EC, electronics and telecommunication, that is the meaning. Then, in all other, see after discussing gate and ESC syllabus, okay, what is the difference, only one difference, the three phase. Then uh, for electrical and DC instrumentation, then for all state PSC, this is the conclusion. Like you take all state PSCs, public service commission exam, public service commission or PSUs we call, like Genco, Transco, etc. Like Telangana, SPDCL, Andhra Pradesh, SPDCL, Maha Genco, okay, Karnataka Public, uh, you know, uh, yes, Transco Corporation Limited, etc. Gate is considered as standard syllabus. Recently, you see they are taking gate syllabus as a standard syllabus. Okay, that is a recommendation from the government in most of these exams also. Yes, but only thing I want to highlight is in a Genco Transco exam, utilization, utilization part is more like in power system. There is some topic called utilization. Okay, traction, utilization. That part is more that you remember. Otherwise, everything is similar. Okay. Power system side, utilization part is more. Otherwise, everything is same. 99% gate syllabus only. Now, sir, so after discussing the ESC syllabus, gate syllabus for all the three branches. For gate, we have three branches. My subject is common for electrical, electronics and communication and instrumentation. But for ESC, only two, that is electronics and telecommunication, electrical. Instrumentation students, you can also write ESC, but in EC. Please understand, instrumentation students, you can also write IES, that is ESC, but in EC, electronics and telecommunication paper, you can write. But separate instrumentation paper is not there in UPSC. Then, after discussing, now this is my classification. This slide and next slide is very important. You can again pause and go through. How I classify? Yes, I classify total into 10 chapters, okay? Go through them, sir. Detailed way, okay? Though he gave very simple, but we classify detailed way. Chapter 1 is all about fundamentals, notations, basic circuit and loss, RLC components and its reduction. Chapter 2 is DC circuit analysis, register as a fundamental component, mesh and nodal techniques we call. Chapter 3 about basics of time variance, that is where inductor capacitor is introduced. In chapter 2 only register I will talk, but chapter 3 I will introduce basics of time variance. Then we will talk what it is. Then chapter 4 is about AC fundamentals, phasor, RMS, average calculations. Chapter 5 is network solution methods in sinusoidal and power and power factor. That is power analysis is more in chapter 5. That is what electrical people more dominate. Then chapter 6 is about DC and AC network theorems and application. This is one of the scoring chapter. Then series and parallel electrical resonance and magnetic circuits. So all together see this chapter 5, 6, 7, 8 together is AC steady state. Then chapter 9 is transient circuits in that uh, first order, second order. Uh, you know, non-canonical, canonical forms. Non-canonical means what? Neither pure series nor pure parallel. We will go. And three phase. So the detailed syllabus, what is given in ESC and GATE, I classified into 10 chapters. So all this content in my, uh, you know, uh, notes and when we deliver lecture, we follow this. But in that again, subsections come, lot of detailed things will come. Again, just a theorem. See, we know theorems, but there are total 10 theorems. All 10 theorems starting from source transformation, superposition, Thevenin's, Norton's, like that. Everything we discuss, sir. Okay? So there are total 10 theorems and all theorems. And again, in each theorem, every model we cover. Like maximum power transfer theorem, some 13 models I cover. Thevenin's theorem, uh, there are three categories. In that all together, some 30 models I will cover. With a dependent source, without dependent source, only dependent source, both together. So that is a detailed way we do, sir, okay? It's not going to be just a, you know, a, a show like one or two hours. It is a class we take some 60, 70, 80 hours depending upon the convenience and student feedback. 100 hours also we take sometimes if necessary. But we see that everything is reaching the student and student is very comfortable. 
then yes let us talk so after syllabus and classification of syllabus now we are talking mostly on yes weightage now see this is the weightage yes everyone lot of effort has been put 2019 this is for electric circuits triple e gate weightage triple e esc prelims weightage so mains i am talking later i will talk later so triple e my subject for gate triple e my subject for esc prelims see that 2019 one mark two marks how many questions 2020 21 22 23 detailed and accurate data i am giving you so these are like 4 twos are 8 plus 2 8 plus 2 is approximately 10 here 2 plus 5 7 here you see 6 plus 4 10 again here 4 plus 2 6 here 8 plus 1 9 so approximately around 10 average 10 and es you see sir out of 150 bits i told now esc prelims have got 150 bits 300 marks in that 150 you see 10 11 16 13 12 approximately okay these are the bits coming for electrical now when it comes to ece or electronics and telecommunication we got okay when it comes to ec you see again yes my subject networks for ec students or electronics and telecommunication gate ec weightage and esc prelims weightage okay if you observe very clearly you see sir again approximately this is 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 okay 4 plus 3 7 2 2 are 4 4 plus 1 5 in 2019 only 5 marks came okay and uh, esc prelims weightage is more out of 150 bits you see 18 17 21 21 in 2021 21 17 16 out of 150 questions my subject this many bits come only from my uh, subject network okay and when it comes to yes instrumentation only gate is there i told instrumentation people you can attempt ies or engineering services in electronics and telecommunication there again weightage you see uh, again that is two twos are four plus four eight marks this is six plus one seven marks only four marks and this is seven twos are 14 plus one 15 marks it came instrumentation and then eight plus one nine marks this is the accurate data most accurate data we are giving then conclusion conclusion from this is my subject that is common for triple e ec and instrumentation triple e around 10 to 12 marks ec 8 that is for gate i am talking ec 10 to 8 to 10 marks instrumentation 9 to 12 marks okay that you remember this is the range and when it comes to <coughs> yes prelims and mains now here i will talk about mains for esc ec prelims around 22 marks it can go up to maximum 22 i told you 21 22 and for ESC mains mains will be after prelims out of 300 marks 72 to 94 is the range general range and for electrical people prelims ESC around 17 marks and for ESC mains okay out of 300 184 to 102 marks will come slightly more uh, weightage I am giving for triple because of three phase circuit and power level analysis that's it otherwise sometimes less marks here more marks but this is all the you know guidance are see we are not saying 100 percent this will come but knowing the data of previous year's exam estimating the standard is always good but competitive exams is always tricky okay which i will tell you everything you have to learn but this is the range i'm talking so then recommended books now sir as a network theory teacher or circuit teacher as a student let me openly tell you sir as a student i studied sudhakar and shaman that is a student style that was a good book for our JNT university exam in one of the affiliated colleges I studied. No doubt, that is a good book at that level. But sir, when we are talking at IIT, you want admission in IIT, these are the superb books. They are the best books in the world. Even you go to Stanford University, Ohio State University, Oxford University, you see even in those universities also, these are the recommended books. Okay, one is Hayton and Kemmerly. Okay, superb books are Hayton and Kemmerly, Engineering Circuit Analysis. And one is <clears throat> fundamentals of electric circuit by alexander and sadiku because these two authors wrote emf first the beauty is these two authors wrote emf first and then they wrote circuit the people who know emf distributed parameter can easily learn lumped parameter with more comfort that is the beauty about these two authors you know hate wrote emf then he wrote circuit sadiku wrote emf and then he wrote circuit that is why i say these two are superb this author electronic level signal level number one this author power level electrical people number one so ec author triple e author and this book i recommend for ia students see this is a secret sir i'm telling you ia students you want to crack it my subject you want to become perfect by this book okay but sir textbook reading takes hell of a time 
in BTEC four years also, you tell me honestly how many textbooks you studied? One? One per subject? Impossible. So what we do, yes, that is what, sir. As a student, you don't have time to read three, three textbooks. It will take some years to complete. But how much time you have? Some six to eight months you have. So that is where our ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online, we are providing you something great. As a student, no doubt if you read this, your knowledge, my knowledge will be similar, equal. Potential difference is zero, current will not flow. Your knowledge, my knowledge equal, potential difference is zero, current will not flow, means knowledge will not flow. But as a student, various times, sir, and to de read this much level is unnecessary sometimes because relevancy is important. Knowledge wise, extraordinary books. But exam point of view, is it necessary? I don't think so. Exam point of view, what sort of bits will come, which areas to focus, which topics are asked, in which style, that is important. So as a student, I never recommend, sir, no, no need. But no doubt, if you want to become expert one day like me or, or your good teachers in your college with great experience, these are the number one books. That is what I recommend, okay? My recommendation. Some teachers may have their own books, but good books. McGraw-Hill series, Nasar, they are very good books. John Willey, McGraw-Hill, they are not, you know, these publications they just don't offer to everyone to write book. Okay, they are great books. In that regard, yes, these are the best books, but as a student, I don't recommend anything. What to do then? Ace Engineering Academy material. Our material is so accurate, let me tell you, so accurate, and expert, a team of experts sit together and write. Multiple style of answers and finally which solution is the fastest way and that are the things which we publish. So these are the books. If you can buy, buy it immediately or those who already took admission including material, we will give them directly either postal coaching or online or even offline. So this is the best thing because we are <coughs> doing the same business every day, sir. And this is what, see, 32 years papers. My time when I wrote GATE in 2003, I don't have even an, you know, one or two papers to really focus on what style it will come. But today you see so much of content is available. GATE and ESC. Similarly, yes, for Genco Transco also, 27 years question papers we are providing. Then UPSC. Then we have other internal books. This we don't uh, sell to the students. This is our internal coaching books. So if you join in ACE only, you will get it. You will not get this in the market. These are the things which we publish and they are available in the market. But this is some secret where uh, what style of problems I teach to cover all the concepts is my style. So these are internal workbooks of ACE Academy. Only if you join, we can share with you. Okay. So handbook, okay, all the formulas at one place, simplifying. So for EC also, separate books are there. Tribly also, separate books. And instrumentation also, separate books. Then what extra? Now this is very important. So material I told, syllabus I told. What extra I can give you as a teacher? Yes, as a teacher, our personal notes, handwritten, okay, sir? Even ACE online, na, all these PDF files, whatever we write, we share with you. Soft copy. And also, those who attend my class, we dictate and make you write everything. That is simplify. Why, sir? Why I say it's great? It's only experience which makes us great. Not that I am writing something new or beyond the book. Nothing like that. But we are simplifying from 10 textbooks to make it so accurate and simple to get rank. That is what, sir, every teacher here, their notes is everything. But practice, yes, practice, you should go through these books. Practice. Lot of content we give from these questions, but as a student, you should be doing three times, four times revision. That is very important, okay? So, but hand it on. Then test series, we conduct lot of exams, new, new models, my ideas I put, all new questions I keep asking. Every year we update, sir. So we always do that. Clearing doubts. And we know uh, I have integrated Fresh Chat app through our ACE Online app. ACE Online app is integrated with Fresh Chat. So there is a very simple and convenient way for a student to ask doubts. Okay. Then now let us focus on today's main strategy, preparation strategy. Okay. Yes, preparation strategy. Now I ask a question, which is the most important subject in competitive exams? As far as electrical engineering gate and IES, EC gate and IES, let us talk. Let us talk our domain. So which is the most important subject? Everyone, can you answer? Can I see any comment coming? No chat? Yes, very good evening. Okay, Swami. Okay. But what I want to ask is, which is the most important subject as far as electrical engineering gate and ESC and EC gate and ESC is concerned. Which is the most important? My answer is all. So I want to mention that, yes, my answer is what? All. 
okay all all subjects are important so there is nothing like important and unimportant that is the difference you should know in competitive exam even you leave a single subject you are gone sir for example i will tell you in andhra pradesh northern power distribution corporation which happened in 2021 suddenly microcontroller microprocessor 11 bits came generally microcontroller microprocessor for ece and triple e one or two bits may come and for gate they removed also gate uh, it has been recently removed for ece it is there but see in that uh, northern power distribution corporation 11 bits came from microprocessors see that means competitive exams is an elimination process so all are important that is the first thing so which subject important if anyone ask all are equal and important but based on the weightage we will concentrate and spend so much time like if my subject is 10 marks out of 100 10% of the preparation time if there is a measurements which is uh, 8 marks out of 100 like that 8% of the time if there is some subject uh, uh, which is coming only 3 marks for example 3% of the time so that way you have to prepare but there is nothing like you can leave a single subject then which are the most important topics in electric circuits or networks again what is the answer everything sir see everything all topics so please understand sir competitive exams though i will tell you the detailed marks division but as a student there is nothing like important or unimportant every subject and every topic like for example some student may leave resonance but suddenly two marks question comes from electrical resonance only you may say sir transient i feel inconvenient come uh, tough because of mathematics involved but questions come from transients only two marks or three marks so everything is equal and important easy bits everyone will write sir in competitive exam the rule is simple easy bits everyone will write there is no competition there competition exist in the challenging areas so that is why read everything there is nothing like important or unimportant so your mindset please change important subject don't think network or control or power system power electronic or communication vlsi no sir everything is important but based on the weightage based on the content you spend that time proportionally imbalance don't do suppose network is your favorite subject don't go on reading network network you should complete in 15 to 20 days over then controls then signals power system may take one month read one month so based on the weightage based on the content you spend but there is no way you can leave a single subject and single topic okay but preparation strategy you go okay first theorems i will study such things each teacher will guide you suppose theorems sir first i will attack transients i will attack that way you go but leaving of any topic any subject is not acceptable in this competitive exam otherwise you are nowhere then i classify this question paper into three categories okay finally yes secret of toppers i am telling you this is with feedback sir how topper score in gate and ies is finally after seeing the syllabus of gate and ies and the chapters which i divide i classify into three categories aptitude and engineering max is coming 25 to 30% of total marks fundamental common subjects now what are fundamental common subjects common subjects for triple ec instrumentation like networks controls analog digital yes or no microprocessor these are common subjects that is 40 to 45 marks 45% of the marks then the core subjects now core subjects for triple e what power system power electronics machines and for ec what are your core subjects vlsi yes or no communication systems emtl that are your core subjects so see that finally i group the question paper whether it is gate or ies into three okay of course in ies now english is not there aptitude you know that but generally group one okay group two group three but what is the secret of toppers now sir toppers how they attack exam is they never say sir this network is my favorite or control is my favorite or power system is favorite never they do that they attack the easy first so toppers always attack the easy things first they never say that subject is favorite this subject so what they do for example in gate aptitude plus engineering max and english all together 30 marks na so for example in gate example in gate this toppers what they are doing this 30 marks which is english max and aptitude they will attack in 30 minutes of the exam because total time for exam is 180 minutes in that uh, yes 30 minutes they will first attack this bits and in that good person will get out oh, there itself 25 marks attempting 30 marks in 30 minutes which is aptitude english and max which is generally easy compared to core subjects and he himself score 25 marks there minimal mistakes native marking so strategy is that sir so 25 marks there itself if you score in 30 minutes you are qualified that means he is beating 85% of the competition in the first half an hour please understand that 
That is what these stoppers will do. They will never say, sir, network, power system, communication system is my favorite subject. They never do that. They attack the easy things first. So, easy things first. That is why, sir, daily read aptitude and max. Daily read it. One hour, one hour. Daily read. I am telling you. Then come to your core and fundamental subject. I am never saying no, but first read this. Then fundamental easy subjects. Yes, network, control, analog, digital. There you spend more time. Okay, that will give 40 to 45 percent of the marks. Then third level come to core subjects. While attempting paper also, that is a strategy because easy things first, then complex things strategically. Because finally scoring more marks and uh, you know attempting all questions is the target. Okay, that is a secret, sir. Easy things first. So remember, three groups. So you should spend equally on, on this you read one hour per day, this you read two to three hours per day, this you read four hours. This is core subjects, sir. It may take more time. But finally on the day of exam, attempt easy things first. Okay. Then yes, how to get rank? Now this is what I am trying to say. Notes of every teacher, okay? That is my strategy. Notes of every teacher, it is because their experience. So first read notes thoroughly, multiple times. Every line to line you by heart. So like uh, network theories, control sir, analog sir, power system sir, communication system sir, read them because it is only experience sir. That is what I say great about my colleagues and my ACE Academy and online is our notes did not come in one day. After teaching 300 batches, I optimize such that everything is covered in it. So that is very important. Then step two, step two, yes, step two will be first do ESC objective, ESC prelims objective bits, objective bits. Why, why I say this is important because this bits uh, are without calculator. In ESC, there is no calculator for prelims, mains it is allowed. But without calculator, simple bits, minimal calculation, formula based. So you will get lot of fundamentals, speed, speed and accuracy will come. So though you are a gate student or Genco student, First read ESC bits of your respective uh, subject and respective branch I am talking. So read that first. Because here calculators are not allowed, speed and accuracy. Then step 3, go to gate. Yes, go to gate bits. Gate bits, previous gate bits. Okay, previous gate bits, all PYQs. All last 30 years gate question papers of triple E, EC, instrumentation, if it is a common subject, do that. Then step 4 is only when the notification come. Like for example, suddenly Genco notification came, ISRO notification came. DRDO, that specific exam papers, specific exam papers, that is P, exam PYQs I will write, like what Genco, ISRO, DRDO, all these books we have sir, ACE Academy has published, excellent, the thing is most accurate answers, I can challenge you in India, most accurate answers because of a team of great expert teachers and authors. So. This step 4 is only when notification comes, but these 3 steps you should be ready. So notes of our teachers, perfectly you be revise, remember, practice, then do IES objective. Of course, lot of this only we teach here, but practice it and gate bits, okay. Then this 4 step is when notification comes. When suddenly ISRO notification comes, read ISRO paper separately, but by this time these 3 steps should be over. So whether you are ESC preparing student or gate re preparation, I recommend write both exams. Because both will give multi-dimensional thinking, lot of knowledge and uh, preparation style will affect both exams. One way speed and simplicity will come, one way depth, knowledge and accurate max will come. So both are required according to me. I never say you achieve this, you cannot achieve this or you can achieve this, you cannot. No, there is a superposition theorem. So better do all these three steps and then when notification come like Genco, Transco, that time you read these papers. Then step five, ah, practice lot of online and offline exams. So practice exams. Practice lot of exams. We conduct, sir. Exam series is a different uh, strategy. We have a team of IIT graduates, IIT postgraduates, and as a teacher, we try to go deep and deep into the subject. Our own uh, exploration, new ideas, lot of practice questions. Mock test, grand test, we call. We call mock test, grand test. So this is simple way to crack exams, sir. Simple. Finally, how to crack strategy is five steps. Notes. Yes, every teacher their experience. ESC bits do first without calculator, speed and accuracy, then come to gate bits, depth in knowledge, depth in mathematics, then specific exam papers once notification comes. But these three steps are common for any engineering uh, exams if you want to crack in competitive, competition style. Then comes practice exams. Now, yes, in this strategy I want to again highlight the difference between your university exams versus competitive exams. Yes, understanding the difference between university and competitive exams. 
Now see the difference, sir. University exams will qualify the student. Yes or no? University exam, we make you qualify. Internal marks, external marks. Our intention is to make you qualify and earn marks. But competitive exams is to eliminate, filter, restrict. Now a simple, uh, you know, I was reading a lot of articles since few years. One good definition came. Competitive exams are the exams which may not select the best. Competitive exams are the exams which may not select the best, but they definitely eliminate the worst. Please understand this. I know university exams are more detailed, learn, semester-wise, six subjects, eight subjects. That is the way you go. That is a proper learning process. Proper learning process because a lot of mid-exams will be there. Power system for the three, four semesters we studied. Yes or no? Network theory, two semesters we studied. And a lot of textbooks are recommended, etc. This is a proper preparation. I accept it. This is a four years process. Engineering is a four years process. Lot of mid exams, external exams, uh, semester wise, lab, project. This is a proper learning, no doubt. But government and industry does not have time to evaluate four years, na, sir. Every university have their own style of evaluation, etc. So what these uh, universities and other uh, government organization as well as uh, uh, these MTech uh, institutes like IIT are doing, they are conducting only three hours exam. Where is the time for the government to evaluate four years and five years? They don't do that. They will put three hours exams or two hours exams. Genco Transco is only two hours. So competitive exams are the exams which may not select the best, but they definitely eliminate the worst. So on the day of exam, you need not be best, but don't be worst. So learn fundamentals, strategy, simple way, and that is what. In fact, this is the proper learning. I accept it. But what we are teaching is exclusive competition style. In my normal college, I teach the university style. That is different. But here we are teaching you competition style. How to beat everyone in three hours or two hours. That is different. Okay. So remember that different strategy. Even good students who are toppers in my college who got 80%, 90% in university, they don't even qualify here. What is the reason? Preparation style is different. Preparation strategy, what to read, what not to read. Relevancy is very important. That is what in this uh, video we are focusing on, sir. Preparation strategy, which material to read, what not to read. Textbooks I told, but am I encouraging you to read textbook? Where is the time, sir? No doubt if you do textbooks, solved examples, exercises, extraordinary. But uh, where is the time in six to eight months if you want to crack? Then our Ace Engineering Academy material is number one. Number one in that style. Okay? That is the meaning. So that is the first difference. Second difference. Yes. Then step two, understand. Yes, understand the complete pattern and syllabus which we told you. Okay? Then plan yourself based on your strength and important subjects by referring the previous. But I told Nasser, important subject is everything. But order you should based on the weightage and content. That is why I wrote important. But everything is important. Then to try and answer lot of previous papers. That will give the correct frequency. But nothing will be repeated like your university exam. Don't think that gate paper last 10 years I do, I will get again same question. Never. Never they repeat. That is the number one rule. IS some 20-15% they are repeating but even that has gone down recently. That means you should be conceptually correct. Don't by heart anything. But this preparation will give you the correct frequency and strength to attack the latest paper. But I am never saying that will come from the previous paper. But that frequency and concepts are good enough to attack the next paper. That is a 2024 paper like that. Then make strategic preparation with necessary corrections based on the feedback and writing lot of exams. That is what exams. So the same thing I wrote neatly. Then what are the qualities you should have as a student chalo what are the qualities you should possess yes these are the qualities sir simple to talk but very very serious things lot of dedication patience to read and write adaptability okay D based on the paper you should be strategical sometimes more weightage came from uh, uh, you know a basic subject like uh, analog or uh, measurements generally 2 3 bits or 4 bits can come but suddenly 10 bits came you have to be very ready there adapt then accountability for money and time sir don't waste time. Every every day, every minute will count. And of course, intelligent and smart work. So this is the strategy or these are the qualities required. Okay. That is what you should know. Then, yes, everybody, general reading. This I don't want to go with. You can, you know, just pause it and see. Okay. What are all the things? Gather textbook. This is all the style. This is my style. Short notes I told, but otherwise, sir, our notes are good enough. There is nothing beyond that. Short notes is like formula book you maintain. Okay. Maintain some formula book. Ada, apart from that, when you are doing a lot of bits, formula book you maintain, keep on writing every new formula in every topic. Okay? Understand fundamental concepts. Okay? Mathematical modeling more. Then uh, practice a lot of papers. That is the same thing I wrote in a detailed point. 
but be careful with native marking. Chalo, now the main strategy part is over. Okay, what I want to say is our main strategy part is over. So before I go to my subject, yes, this part I will start on Monday, but I want to tell what is going to happen because finally the focus will be on my subject questions. That will be very interesting, na, sir. General talking about subject syllabus, everyone knows that. But my subject, yes, this we will go in detail on Monday. See, today's preparation strategy, Monday again 7 to 8, I will talk about PYQs and what sort of detailed questions will come. This part, I will just brief out because this we are going to start. My subject has got two important study state, DC study state, AC study state. But to go to AC study state, here I will introduce time variance and then transient part. So my subject is overall like three parts. DC study state analysis, which I will talk later. AC study state sinusoidal analysis, second part. And transient and miscellaneous topics. This topic is a small area, introduction to LNC, basics of time variance. That we will talk because in DC inductor study state, short circuit, capacitor study state, open circuit. So however, Monday we will focus on this. Then, yes, importance of electrical energy. Yes, electrical energy today is the most dominant and important because of two reasons. One is interconvertibility. Yes, interconvertibility. Yes or no? Interconvertibility. And second is transportation. Transportation. Okay. These are the two reasons to say electrical energy is number one. Today all electric vehicles, our house automation. Today induction heater we are using. Electric cooker we are using. Okay. Without electrical energy, imagine. Suppose power went and your phone is also not charged. No television, no phone, no fan, no AC, no light. Imagine one day. Today we are ready to live without food and water one day, but we cannot live with electrical energy because highly interconvertible. We can convert different forms of energy into one common platform and we can again reconvert. Like electrical can come from thermal, mechanical, nuclear, gas based, chemical like batteries. And we can again convert into light form, sound form, wind form, AC is blowing fresh air and uh, you know conditioned air like wind energy, light energy. Like in this room all the energies are coming from electrical only. My voice is reaching you because of electrical domain. Light is coming here and this screen is working because of electrical. This remote is working because of electrical. So everything, so that is the beauty of this energy, interconvertibility. Second is transportation. We transported bulk level TND power system people, signal level data communication EC people. So transportation is another big advantage of this. Anywhere we can transport, okay, wireless and wired. Power level wired, our TND lines, transmission and distribution lines, generator to load, Ramagundam Thermal Station to Hyderabad. We are able to transport. EC people, without medium also, satellite communication, wireless communication. How we are able to communicate with Chandrayaan ro that uh, rover there? Tell me. Wireless communication. Space is there in between. No medium is there. That is the beauty. So electrical energy is superior because of these two reasons. Interconvertibility, any, level, any energy to any other energy and transportation. Okay, there are so many other reasons, but this is the importance. Then, <clears throat> this is what I want to highlight, sir. So, before I start my subject and marks on Monday, I want to highlight this. His is Tesla. Edison and Tesla had a big war, which I will discuss on Monday. Edison told DC is number one. Tesla proved no AC is number one. Okay, there is a movie, The Current War, which released in 2019. See it, sir. Beautiful movie. As an electrical engineer, EC instrumentation, please see that movie. Because my subject starts with the discussion what is DC and AC. And this fellow has changed the world. Edison did more inventions, but he claimed that DC is number one. DC circuit analysis or DC signal or DC power analysis is number one. But uh, Tesla proved no, DC is good at signal level. Okay, signal level. But at power level, to transport bulk energy long distance, AC is number one. And later what Tesla told, anything as an engineer we can do mathematical modeling. So read this proverb, sir. I don't want much, but engineering that is electrical and mechanical is positive in its results. There is scarcely a subject that cannot be mathematically treated. That means everything you can do on paper. Tesla proved it. Before going to prototype and practical design, he proved that every can, everything can be done mathematically. So in electrical engineering and EC, if you want to get, get rank, you should be strong in application max. That is what he told. There is scarcely a subject that cannot be mathematically treated and the effects are calculated or results determined beforehand from the available theoretical and practical data. 
That means before you go to design, everything on paper we can do, he proved. Then the carrying out in practice of crude idea is being generally done. I hold nothing but waste of energy, money and time. That means before going to practical design, do on paper. Do as an engineer, solve it, mathematically prove it, then everything is done. If you prove mathematically on paper, then it's prototype and practical design also will work easily. But just without doing the mathematical analysis, you go to design and reconstructing, correcting is waste of time, money and energy. So, yes, engineering can be easy with application max. You have to be very good in application max. Then the current war happened between Tesla and Edison. He told power level AC is number one. He told signal level DC is number one. Beautiful movie. Did you see it? Which I will discuss. Then I will go from this on Monday. Okay. Now any question paper. This I will talk later, sir. But I want to just, you know, show these slides. But Monday we are going to start here. Monday what are all the type of questions and each question paper I will talk. This I will talk, sir. Detailed analysis and beautiful questions we will talk. That I will talk on Monday. But let me conclude by talking about my institution. Okay, just conclusion. Because today is pure strategy. Monday, all triply EC and instrumentation people, you will enjoy the bits what I am doing to go in depth to talk about what sort of bits will come, what are the three levels we have to learn, etc. Now about my institute, 1995, imagine sir, almost it is now 28, 29 years. 1995, yes, our chief managing director, chairperson, uh, Professor Y.V. Gopal Krishnamurthy Aro has started a tuition center. And the tuition center today has become Ace Engineering Academy and has so many branches in India. Okay. And we have even started online in 2019. Okay. Because you know after COVID what happened, the medium of transmission of our knowledge has changed, sir. That is what, please understand. So we also expanded into online business. So Ace Engineering Academy is the mother institution and Ace Online. So we have so many strategical way to approach to you and also guide you and provide you the material and content. Okay, offline, online. Hybrid model is running on. Then ACE Online, formal, formerly known as Deep Learn, is India's finest online platform. Now today in India, I can challenge you today, as on today, it is August 2023. The level of content and the preparation what we did in our app, no institute has done in India. Please, we are still improving, we are still recording, we are still updating. I can tell you guarantee that in India, no institute has reached the level of content what we have done. And we are improving further day by day, more clarity, more expansion with lot of simulations, etc. So that is what I can say, sir. It is one of the finest online app founded by Ace Engineering Academy with a history of more than 27 years, okay? And we got so many times first ranked. Sir, this is what is the truth, now, sir. This mother institute, uh, I've got so many first rank and in ESC 23 times. Now that is what sir, today learning has changed, the strategical way preparation, always offline is not everything. On, online learning is not the next big thing, it is not the big thing. We need to bring learning to people instead of people to learning. Offline means you should come to Hyderabad or our center set, uh, you know, Pune, etc. But uh, online, anywhere you can comfortably go through our classes, okay. Then, yes, brief instead you, yes, he is our managing director, chairperson, who is the founder of Ace Engineering Academy. He is Professor Y.V. Gopal Krishnamurthy Garu, okay. He did uh, his uh, B.Tech in Usmania, Masters from NIT, and he himself is a teacher. That is why I think he is the best. He himself being a teacher in mechanical engineer, I think as a teacher he knows best how to run an institution and how to write a material and how to teach. He gives a lot of guidance to all. Though he is from mechanical, he guides us corrects us, lot of feedbacks he take from students and extraordinary man sir, I am telling you, definitely he did lot of service to uh, the people who are the real aspirants in Gate and EC in all over India since many years. Okay, then our app now, yes, our app you can go to Google Play Store and iStore, yes, it is available and Windows version also we launched, yes, Windows version also is there. This is our app sir, please install it and you can subscribe, so many courses are there, okay. We are focusing right now on Gate and IES of course. Even Genco, Hindi, English version, SSCJE, RRBJE, Maha Genco, Maha Transco, so many versions have come. Okay? And we are modifying very accurately and we are keep on adding. Already it is done, 100%, but we are still upgrading, upgrading to give you the best quality. Then yes, you can choose whether it is ECA, GATA, Genco, and in that which subject, everything you can go with. And what are the real features about this app? See here, online doubt. 
and 24 by 7 see even now when i am teaching here when i am delivering i am getting doubts in my mobile phone i am getting lot of doubts in deep learn fresh shot so students can stop there the video and ask the doubt immediately and i have to answer within one hour so we do that we do that okay we are supposed to answer we need no time and online test series postal coaching comprehensive study materials 700 plus of hours 100 plus faculty is our team thousands of happy students and all india ranks okay then this is the slide i want to say sir yes the students who already wrote gate and the students who want to achieve this is a great proverb i like i personally like this there is nothing stronger than a broken man who has rebuilt himself btec whatever happened yes it's done btec level that is good but gate level ies level this is different and uh, please rebuild yourself be strong and never stop learning because life never stops teaching so as a teacher also i keep on improving myself okay never stop learning because life never stops teaching whether in real life all the situations or technically our subject is also like that so that is what i would say but monday please do join today we gave the preparation strategy subject preparation marks division very accurately that is for the first time listeners it is a great content but uh, complete uh, subject analysis and focusing on which style to write which way to write and all the four types of questions which i classified that will come from that point from monday so please do join me on monday for the detailed subject preparation that is electrical circuits or network analysis thank you for watching this video okay thank you for watching this video any comments yes uh, let me let me read out yes yes mathematics see uh, pranay max yes be good in max engineering max okay application max for example you are ec or triple e laplace transforms is necessary to solve transients in my subject any go anywhere go to second order or higher order i need laplace first order differential equation is sufficient but second order onwards laplace for example even emf how many accept emf or emtl is tough for you you say emf or emtl tough because you are not good in vector calculus yes or no if you are good in vector calculus you will enjoy emf whatever teacher is teaching here whichever teacher teaches here you will enjoy it so i believe that mathematical background is more important of course in gate and ies max is also there but please read the application max like signals are is coming when signals are fourier series fourier transform z transform controls are all transfer function analysis power systems are fault analysis so without mathematics i don't think you will be achieving this great exam so as an engineer good in max i won't say you read textbooks in max whatever content we are giving and application so be strong in max that is the only prerequisite for gate and ies exam if you say sir what are the requirements be good in engineering max then come here join our online app join our ace academy we will module we will we will mold you sorry we will mold you but i request you to be good in engineering max then uh, every subject yes every subject separate teachers are my subject i am talking uh, rahul regarding every subject we are preparing every week saturday uh, monday saturday monday preparation strategy on saturday and monday is some important questions and concepts how to attack in exam like i cannot solve in one hour all the questions na sir but i will tell you in that one hour what sort of questions come what depth is required for esc and gate and genco some genco bits i will solve gate bits etc so every subject we will have but my subject i will be talking on then i attended your lectures in offline your lectures are amazing thank you pranay kumar thank you very much thank you very much okay but uh, still sir uh, you know <clears throat> not easy yes i told na sir if you are good a cracking this exam is different that is what you may be good in knowledge you may be extraordinary in subject but in 3 hours performing in 2 hours or 1 hour performing is not easy genco imagine genco is only 2 hours 120 minutes but uh, how many bits will be there 100 bits so genco is only 2 hours 120 minutes okay but 100 bits you have to write it is not a joke na sir is a, as a faculty also I, i i accept it it's not a easy for me as a faculty also and that to all subjects i am maybe good in my subject but as a student you have to write all subjects so definitely not easy sir competitive exam has this definition you have to understand that then i heard you were teaching from subjects uh, of your online because of teachers like you people are getting interest in core subjects thank you very much sai thank you very much but core subjects are core subjects even i like core subjects like i i like machines 
my father uh, retired from bhl from machines i like machines but uh, how to crack exam i cannot just read machines though i like machines but first english max aptitude then fundamental common subjects then core subjects core subjects take lot of time they are mtech subjects no doubt they take lot of time more uh, fundamentals are required so but how to get marks and get rank is important later you do mtech in machines or mtech in power electronics phd in power electronics who stops you no one stops you but how to get rank please understand easy things and strategically managing time that is what we are focusing on okay so i got these comments and uh, will you come for offline batch in gate 2024 yes i am coming already already gm batch is over one uh, pm batch also over yes i am coming sir definitely i am coming there we have a team see don't ever compare anyone we as a team are expert in this any teacher here will give you quality that is guarantee any teacher will give you quality so don't see the teacher see the institution here see the institute see our experience so don't no no not much difference see my style of approach may be different but content syllabus problems are same by any teacher so that way don't ever compare yes i am already coming offline also i am coming sir okay so everybody uh, thank you for uh, you know giving some comments and uh, there are so many students all over india sir there are uh, at least thousands of people who joined ies or my students lakhs of people are there who are taken coaching in as academy since 1995 okay so with this i would like to conclude this preparation strategy join me on monday to talk more about my subject alone and beautiful questions to discuss and inspire you thank you very much